is a beautiful New Zealand fur seal. Now fur seals like that, we've got two coats. The inside layer is this orange coloured one and that helps to control his body temperature. Whereas the dark brown outside layer is known as his guard hair. Now if you listen very carefully, I'll see if Mav would like to say good afternoon to everyone. Thank you, Mav. Thank you, it's more of a cough. <laughs> well, being in New Zealand, first seal makes him just one of the 33 different types of seals that are found on our planet. Together, they're all known as pinnipeds, and the word pinniped is a Latin word which simply means winged foot. I'm sure you can see where they get that name from. Thank you, Rab. Those front flippers do look quite awkward when it comes to getting around on the land, but believe it or not, New Zealand first seals like that can be very good climbers. However, those flippers truly show what they're made for when it comes to powering through the water. Big belly pop out. See how fast you can go? Off you go. Now what I'm showing you now is a behaviour known as porpoising. And this is a great way for seals, dolphins and even penguins to travel through the water at very fast speeds and grab a quick breath of fresh air at the same time. Now this comes in very handy for when they're chasing after schools of fish or even evading predators. You see, the ocean can be a very dangerous place and apart from man's impact, seals like Mab need to look out for predators such as killer whales and there's another one out there. Does anyone know what that is? Yes, Mab's giving you a pretty big hit there. That's right, there are sharks out there. Very scary, Mab. Now, while Mab is famous for that shark impersonation, what he's showing you is in fact a natural behaviour. Seals like Mab will swim around with one or more of their flippers held up into a cool sea breeze. And that's how they cool themselves down. Because those thick fur coats are so good at keeping the heat in, it's only their naked, hairless flippers which let the heat out. And Mab's showing you that any flipper will do. Oh, you're pretty excited. You want us to do that? So do you want to come with you, Mabby? Now, when seals aren't looking out for natural predators such as killer whales and sharks, there are a number of other threats out there in their habitat that they do need to be aware of. Things that wouldn't naturally be found out there, but unfortunately it's all too common that it is. Now, of course, I'm talking about rubbish and pollution. It's things like this when seals come across a piece of netting or pieces of rubbish, they love nothing more than to pick them up and have a bit of fun with them because it looks and feels quite different to anything that they're used to. Good point, Mav. Unfortunately, it is innocent fun like this that can quickly turn dangerous. Once a seal gets entangled in a piece of netting, they could become unable to feed. Of course, when they grow, that net's not, not going to grow with them, and it could be a very sad ending. Oh, Mav, you're looking very sad. How about I help you out? Good boy. Well, luckily for Mav, he's got me to get rid of that for him, but he's done a good job this afternoon. What do you think? Yes, yeah? Thank you, Mav. Thank you, Mav. You're ready to all your fans up, you go.